Welcome back guys. In this mini series, we're gonna go through a series of problem solving strategies for working with mass, moles, and molecules conversion factors. So basically throughout this mini series, we're gonna be looking at three conversion factors, Avogadro's number, molar mass, and the molecular formula itself. And we're gonna be looking at how we can use these conversion factors to solve a variety of problems. So first, let's go ahead and make sure we're all on the same page with what each one of these guys means. So first off, Avogadro's number. So Avogadro's number tells us how many molecules are in one mole of that substance, all right? But Avogadro's number is actually a little bit more general than that because it tells us the number of objects in a mole of objects. So if you're having trouble with this, I want you to think about, say, a dozen. If I say I have one dozen objects, that means I have 12 of these objects. Well, if I have one mole of objects, right, what that means is that I have Avogadro's number or 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of those objects. So same thing as a dozen, it's just a much, much larger number. Now, the number needs to be this large. It's convenient for chemical applications simply because whenever we're dealing with a macroscopic quantity of matter, subatomic matter, then we are gonna be dealing with a very, very large number of those molecules or atoms. So one mole of objects, we could can, can replace objects with atoms, molecules, whatever we might want. So we can put one mole of atoms equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, and so on and so forth. And this conversion factor is going to be coming up an awful lot any time we're wanting to con convert between moles and number of objects, right? whether it's atoms or molecules. Next on our list here is this concept of molar mass, which we've talked about previously. And basically this molar mass, which we obtain by looking at a chemical formula and looking at their respective masses of each one of the atoms comprising that molecule on the periodic table, gives us a conversion factor that allows us to convert between grams and moles of that substance. So an example here, we could say, you know, look at water. So if we have one mole of H2O or water molecules, and we add up the mass from the periodic table of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, we will get a value of about 18.015 grams of H2O. This is our molar mass. So what this means is that if I have one mole, it's gonna, one mole of those water molecules is going to weigh approximately 18.015 grams. All right. And last here, we're going to see some problems that involve the use of the molecular formula itself as a conversion factor, which will allow us to convert between number of molecules and individual numbers of atoms. So a quick example here, looking once again at our little water molecule here, if I were to say have one molecule of water, okay, so a single, single water molecule, Looking at that molecular formula, I see a subscript two there with the hydrogen. So that means for every one water molecule that we have, we are gonna have two hydrogen atoms. So I'm gonna put two atoms of hydrogen. Okay, or again, that two is coming about by, you know, simply because we've got a subscript two right there. Now, this could also hold not just for you know, molecules of water, but say I had an entire mole of water. So if I had, for example, one mole of H2O molecules, well, now that just means I have, again, Avogadro's number of H2O molecules. And for every one molecule of H2O, I know I have two atoms, that means that I have two moles of hydrogen atoms. You know, again, looking at that subscript, in that you know, chemical formula to determine what that con conversion factor is going to be. So in the next series of videos, we're gonna look at a, a bunch of example problems that basically requires the application of each one of these tools. So first off, we're gonna be doing a conversion problem that basically requires us to go between, using Avogadro's number to convert between moles of a substance and the number of individual atoms or molecules.